Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nanya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about albumin globulin ratio test. Before beginning this video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is this ratio test. A total protein and age ratio test measures the amount of total protein in your blood. There are two major types of protein in your blood, albumin and globulin. Albumin keeps blood leaking out from the blood vessel. Globulin helps fight infections and move nutrients throughout the body. Albumin is made by liver. Some globulins are made by liver, others are made by immune system. This test also compares the amount of total albumin to globulin. And this comparison is known as AG ratio test. And if your test results are not normal, it may mean a serious health condition. Now, let us see what is this test used for. Most of the times, this test is not done alone and is a part of comprehensive metabolic panel. Comprehensive metabolic panel is a group of tests that measures all types of proteins and other substances in the blood. It may also be used to diagnose kidney problems, liver problems, and other nutritional problems. Now, let us see why you may require this test. You may take this test as a part of comprehensive metabolic panel, which is often included in your routine health checkup. You may also need this test if you indicate problems related to abnormal protein levels. These problems include swelling in feet, ankle and knees, fatigue, unexplained weight loss, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, joints, and blood and urine. Now, let us see what happens during the test. For this test, a small sample of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm. The sample is then collected and sent to the lab. The results usually take two to three days depending on the lab. So how can you prepare for this test? There are no preparations needed for this test. But as this test is ordered along with a lot of other tests, you will be asked to fast for 8 to 12 hours before taking this test. So are there any risks or side effects to this test? There are almost no risks or side effects to this test. But make sure the needle is sterilized and the area is well cleaned. Now let us talk about the results. Your results will show if you have high levels or low levels or normal levels of protein. They will also show if you have high levels, low levels or normal levels of AG ratio. If your AG ratio is low, it may be caused by an autoimmune disease such as lupus, a liver disease including cirrhosis, and a kidney disease. If your AG ratio is higher, it may be caused due to certain types of genetic disorders and leukemia. This test will only indicate if there is a problem with the liver. So, if your result is abnormal, your doctor will require additional tests to confirm the diagnosis. Your final diagnosis will be based on your test reports, your medical history, and your symptoms. If the diagnosis is confirmed, your doctor might talk with you to develop a plan that works best for you. By plan, I meant treatment plan. So, it's important for you to consult your doctor before interpreting any report by yourself. It is equally important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.